I realize that's important. But yeah, but so they sent along other examples. That's an invitation, or that's a save the date. Uh, I think that's the invitation. full invitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's but once I figured out how to do it on my own, I was like, I'm just gonna do it on my own. And then I can pick the paper and stuff that I want. So okay, we're at Michael's and looking at the cardstock paper to do the save the dates because I'm gonna. I already made the design on Canva, but I want to print them out just at, with our printer at home. So trying to pick which paper would be good. I want like a cream or white color, but with a fun texture. But I want this is like the clear. And then you can actually print on here too. So I've seen people do like a cool design oh, yeah. on there. They just like put this in their printer. Yeah. Print the design. But I want the blue. Maybe they have some like over another aisle or like over there maybe. This may be your last visit to help. Anyways, so we found these envelopes that are the dove white. And then just like the regular five by seven card stock, so you wouldn't even have to cut the other pieces. So this will be perfect for the save the dates. And then I'm just gonna print it out on the card stock and then same with printing out the address and stuff on the envelope. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. I have been doing the research getting the design inspo. We're doing our own save the dates and invitations. And so I just finished deciding, making the layout that I want for the save the dates, and then kind of how the envelopes I want to look. And if I, I'm kind of going back and forth if I wanna do an insert in the envelope and see what that would look like. Cause right now, I there's an Etsy, um, then there's an Etsy print that you can just do a digital download of and then print it onto something. So I think I'm either gonna do that on a piece of vellum and then put the vellum inside the envelope or, but first before I do that, I wanna do a test print of just like a clip art image or something how to see how my printer works with printing on the vellum. Cause I feel like it could be a slight chance that it might just smear the ink on there because it's not as absorbent as your usual paper. So for my test, I just downloaded this free print. This is not the one I would actually go with. It's a different one, but I've just downloaded that and then I'm gonna put the vellum paper in the printer and try to print this one. I feel like if it works on this, it'll work on the print that I'm thinking of, but I don't wanna buy the print on Etsy, even though it's, you know, like 10 bucks. I don't wanna buy it if I know it's not gonna work. pretty good. I feel like also since it was a free random download, the quality is probably not very well, so it looks a little pixelated. I don't care as much about that, but I think that worked, yay. Okay, so now we'll do the real ones and I'll buy the font. So this is the print that I went with. Let me pull up what it actually looks like. But that's like the negative space one, so then when you print it on the white paper, it'll just show up with the design. But, yay, look, pretty. So that printed really well, and that'll look so pretty. She could do it, you know, either way on the paper, it doesn't really matter. But I need to figure out, so this is an actual page, which is really cool, but I don't know how to, I need to figure out how I want to line it up for this, to the envelope, to, for it to slide in, you know. I don't want it to be that way. I don't know. So I'm gonna play around with that. I am obsessed. That was also so easy, which I need to do it, you know, like 40 more times. But I love that. Isn't that cool? Wow, how did you do Okay, I'm going and printing the save the dates, so I'll show you. And I made it just on canvas, but I'll show you, I'll also link below the paper and envelopes that I got that was very helpful because it automatically fit and I already made the mistake of getting them separate and then the paper didn't fit in the envelopes that I got that I thought it would so I just went to Michael's and got a different set that is a set 
they came together so I know the slip of paper will fit in the envelope and then I'm gonna tackle doing all I'm gonna print out the envelopes too with the address and then our return address on there and then I got a little embosser that I'm gonna do for the closure of the envelope and then we're gonna sh and how I showed you the inlay of the envelope I'm gonna go and put that in then once I have everything printed and ready to be basically sent out but I'm gonna put that in at the last minute then do the embosser at the last minute and then we'll go from there Okay, this is the last save the date that will be printed out and then we'll be done with the whole stack of save the dates. Envelopes are printing now, but I'm going to start assembling them. Okay, everybody that is all I have for the save the dates video thanks for coming along and watching this one I hope you learned a couple of DIY things that you can use helpful in any kind of invitation 
And with that, stay tuned for more wedding content. There'll be much more to come. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already for more wedding content. And then also back to the usual vlogs and our usual scheduled programming. But with that, thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.